Wherever we turn in our quest to understand reality, we invariably encounter paradox. As we delve deeper into the nature of things, we find ourselves facing contradictions, aspects that our reason cannot fully comprehend yet are undeniably true. Consider anything we know as finite the moment we start to dissect it, it reveals an endless array of qualities, potentials and relations, thus transcending into the infinite. Take a simple flower, for instance. Though it seems finite, no one can claim to understand it entirely. Its infinite complexities elude complete comprehension. Similarly, a grain of sand, seemingly finite, becomes boundless upon closer examination. Thus, our thoughts and experiences physical and mental begin as manageable entities, but soon plunge into an abyss of infinite complexity. This phenomenon is even more pronounced when we turn our gaze inward. Our own existence presents the greatest dilemma. We live, die and perceive ourselves as finite beings constrained by the universe around us. Nature can obliterate us in an instant and our will is thwarted at every turn. Despite our endless desires, our finite bodies and the laws of nature limit our achievements. In this finite world, we are akin to waves in an ocean. Each wave is part of the ocean yet distinct from it. In the infinite ocean of existence, we are mere wavelets. When we seek to grasp our true selves, we encounter the infinite, much like trying to catch a dream that dissipates as soon as we reach for it. This is not because the dream is false, but because it lies beyond the grasp of reason and intellect. Everything in life is vast and defies the confines of intellect. The human soul, the greatest mystery of the universe, exemplifies this. Our fragile eyes, capable of being destroyed by a mere pin, certify the existence of the grandest celestial bodies. The existence of the universe hinges on the perception of our tiny eyes. In this intricate web of existence, where the smallest atom is crucial to the whole, who can be deemed great or small, this interconnected reality defies such distinctions. Every entity, from a tree to a grain of sand, embodies the infinite. Yet our awareness of this infinite nature is mostly unconscious. Despite this, we never truly forget our boundless essence. Misery arises from our mistaken belief in our finitude. We face life's challenges thinking we are limited beings, but recognizing our infinite nature alleviates this suffering. Our relentless search for freedom, reflected in all religions and the worship of gods, stems from this deep-seated knowledge of our infinite essence. Throughout history, humanity has sought beings who can transcend nature's laws, embodying our innate longing for freedom. This quest gradually led us to the realization that the divine freedom we seek lies within us. The journey from seeing gods as external entities to recognizing the divine within ourselves mirrors our psychological evolution. Initially, we sought freedom outside, but eventually we found that this infinite freedom is our own inner essence. We are both finite and infinite, with the finite merely being a manifestation of the infinite reality. True knowledge lies in recognizing this unchanging eternal soul within us. This understanding brings peace and ends all misery. In the depths of despair, the soul shines a light, revealing that our true essence can never be lost. Despite the illusions of life's hardships, we are eternal, ever blessed and free. Thus, even amidst life's trials, we must affirm our infinite nature. We are neither bound by gender, creed nor circumstance. In every moment of darkness, Repeating, I am infinite, dispels the illusion of finitude. This realization empowers us to rise above all limitations, asserting our true, infinite self. Embracing this truth transforms our perspective, enabling us to face life's challenges with courage and resilience. We are the infinite existence, knowledge and bliss. This eternal, unchangeable self is the foundation upon which we stand, the ultimate reality that brings lasting peace and freedom.